Hello, and thanks for joining us. I am Dolly Isaac, Partner Manager at AWS Public Sector, and I am joined here today by Evan Glemestead, Storage BD at AWS Public Sector. Today, we are talking about data backup and archive. Evan, a lot of our customers, a lot of customers in general, are still using tape or some sort of on-prem repository as their backup targets. What is AWS alternative? What is their cloud alternative? And what are the risks associated with these legacy practices? Sure. Well, first of all, let me let me say that the, the reason why people are storing it in, in tape vaults, for example, it, it kind of makes sense from one standpoint because it's, it seems as cheap, it's durable, you just put it on tape, you ship it off to an off-premises uh, off vault and, and you put it on a shelf. The problem with it is that, first of all, it becomes passive data. So you store it, you put it in a vault, but you can't really use it for anything. And, and if you need anything from here, you gotta transport it back and then you gotta, you gotta pull it off of the tapes. The second part of it is that there are no SLAs for tape. So the durability of that is varying at best. Um, when you pull it back, it's, it's not uncommon for you to get a tape back, you put it in, and then for some reason you can't read back what you, what you actually need. So that's why we usually store multiple copies. So tape has had its days, it, it was very cost effective, but with the economies of scale of the cloud now, uh, and especially services like Glacier and, and Glacier Deep Archive, uh, which is now a dollar a terabyte per month, the total cost of ownership becomes lower than a tape vault, an offsite tape vault, for storing it in the cloud. Okay, so we know that there are some risks asso associated with recovering this data yeah. from this, this legacy media. So God forbid if there is some event and you actually need to get that data back. So now we've helped customers get to the cloud, get to AWS cloud. Yep. Now what? What, ca what else can they do with it? Do we still just uh, park it and forget it? Well, you see, that's, that's, that's really where the cloud comes in. Because with all these services that we can, we can plug on uh, that are ready to consume, like AWS uh, Kendra, for example, uh, for search. So uh, to, to be able to add or to look at this data in, in new ways, uh, to use AIML services, such as um, Textract, for example, to uh, pull out uh, written documents, uh, write, make that into text that you can make searchable, you can catalog it. By putting your data in the cloud, you have access to all these other services that you can take advantage of to, to get more value out of the data that you have. You can run analytics over, over years rather than whatever you have on premises. By taking all the things you have in your vault and putting it available in the cloud, you can pull this data back, run your analysis on it, and then kind of put it back into the Glacier Deep Archive freeze, if you want, uh, for the long term. And uh, But that way you, you can extract more information, you can extract value out of your data that you own today. Um, that's usually data that's uh, just passive data um, if, you, if you store it in a tape vault. So, so tape had its days, uh, it, was, it was great, but I think it's type, time to, uh, to retire from tape and, uh, and move forward. So Evan, thank you so much for sharing that with us. What a great way for our customers to leverage more value out of their investment on AWS and get, make better decisions for their organizations and customers. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to follow us on Twitter at AWS underscore gov. And we also invite you to visit our Raise the Bar on Data Protection page and view the associated webinars.